All right, so to improve your productivity, we're gonna quickly talk about the most uh, common or most useful Visual Studio Code shortcut. So this is something we can do with our uh, keyboard to speed up our uh, process. So Visual Studio Code actually publishes a whole PDF with all the shortcuts that you can use, and you can find them by Googling Visual Studio Code shortcuts. They have one for Windows as well as for Mac OS. And I will mention the ones that we're gonna use in this video also for Mac OS. I'm on Windows myself, but I'll mention it for Mac as well. So there's a bunch of shortcuts in here but there's actually only a couple that are that you're going to use like 95 percent of the time so if you have a line of code here for example very often you want to duplicate it so we can do this by holding on windows shift alt down arrow key and i can duplicate it as many times as i want and on mac that would be copy line down so that would be this you can also you can also hold the up arrow key duplication very common now sometimes i, I want to comment this out so it doesn't work but i still want to see it so i can select everything here and i can hold Control forward slash and it becomes a comment right so this is not actual code anymore it's just going to be here as a comment right, so that's Control forward slash on mac it's going to be command forward slash okay i can undo that with Control z but that's probably something that you're already familiar with. Okay, so maybe I want to copy this line manually, not duplicate it necessarily, but just copy it. I don't have to select it. I only have to put my caret on this line and I can hold control C, right? Just control C, like how you would normally copy something. And then I can hold control V to paste it, right? So you don't have to select it. You just the caret thingy needs to be on the same line. And one last thing is, let's say you want to delete the whole line. On Windows, we can hold shift and then the delete key, it will delete the whole line. That would be, delete line would be this. And actually maybe uh, we have control shift K on Visual Studio Code in, in uh, Windows, but it works for me if I hold shift delete. So maybe that also works on Mac. Right, so these were just some, I would say really the most common shortcuts that you're gonna want to use. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you wanna take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there we will build some beautiful real world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you wanna be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.